Hello everyone, we are Team Science Fever representing SMJK Jitsin to greet all the judges of NSC competition. Currently, the nature has been seriously disrupted by air and water pollution. Water pollution is generally caused by toxic waste, which is the byproduct of a wide range of human activities. This could cause serious consequences like the extinction of aquatic species and freshwater crises. Over usage of fossil fuels leads to air pollution which is hazardous to human health and decreases the yield of crops. The role of science is crucial in tackling pollution to minimize the consequence and prevent the happening of these pollutions. To maintain the quality of nature, prevention is better than cure. So, how science has helped to conserve water? Putrajaya wetland is the first man-made wetland in Malaysia and the largest constructed fresh water wetland in the tropics. It was completed in August 1998 Actually, man-made wetlands are treatment system that use natural processes involving wetland vegetations, soil and organisms to improve water quality by filtering the water naturally. At the same time, it creates an ecosystem and serves as a habitat for wildlife. With the growing of technology, nanotechnology has helped to purify the wastewater by running the water through a nanomembrane before releasing to a nearby water body or being reused. In the process of purification, biological and chemical contaminants as well as other physical particles and molecules have been removed. By applying biology, Lactobacillus bacteria serum is a common way for us to treat sewage and clean clogged drains easily which can be done by DIY at home. How has the development of science helped to tackle the air pollution? Over the decades, high-efficiency renewable energy is being developed to reduce carbon footprint. The cultivation of algae can also be considered as a negative emission technology that removes and requests more carbon dioxide from the air compared to the trees. According to Hypergiant Industries, a 1.7 meter cube bioreactor is 400 times more efficient compared to a tree of the same size. And at the same time, it can produce biofuel from its fat. A significant advantage of LG biofuel is that it doesn't require a large piece of land because LG can be cultivated in a bioreactor. Titanium dioxide has been added into building materials to remove the nitrates in the air via photocatalysis that speeds up the chemical process of neutralizing nitrates into salts. Palazzo Italia in Milan is constructed from cement which contains titanium dioxide to tackle air pollution together with the plants in the city. As a conclusion, science helped us to develop a new technology and solution to minimize the impact of human's activity to care for the nature.